Hello everyone, I am back on YouTube and I'm sorry because I haven't posted a video in a few years I guess, I don't know when the last video I posted was. So I just decided to come back and because of neglecting my channel and I just haven't got time I guess, just too busy with college and stuff, just forgotten. So I'm back now, so hopefully I'll be posting a lot more videos because I'm right now in college and have a lot of free time. And I've been doing, do doing a lot of coding and you know app, application development and whatnot. So and just for the future, I just want to. I mean, it'd be nice if you guys could leave a comment below as to like what you guys want to see in the future. Like, do you guys want to see something, some game programming, or I don't mean I try to you know include tutorials, but I just need to find the time, man. That's it. So, but then I have a lot of interesting stuff like competitive programming and artificial intelligence and like writing bots, how to program bots and all this kind of st cool stuff. So just leave a comment below yes, if it's anything related to programming and if it's feasible. And if I have free time, I will definitely try to, you know, make it, uh, make a video on that. So without further ado, let's jump right in. Okay, so what this basically is, is a lock screen. So this is what I call the hexagonal lock screen and I guess I mean everyone knows what a, what a lock screen is I don't really have to explain it I mean if you use your Android lock screen you've seen that nine pattern nine dot pattern lock screen and I, can, I think I've made a video on that so you can go watch that if you want but this is what I call a hexagonal lock screen basically it's a lock screen but just with using hexagons and it's really cool so basically what I'll do here is, I'll go set the pattern, like you know, I mean before you like you know, uh, make a lock screen you have to set some pattern, right? So I'm going to set a simple pattern right here, so it's going to be a straight line. Grey color indicates that you know you're setting the pattern, this, this is for like you know, for my convenience to know when I'm setting the pattern and when I'm drawing the pattern and trying to unlock the screen. So differentiate between, so, so to differentiate between that, I've used these colors. So now you get a dialog box to just notify you that your pattern has been set. So now I can go ahead and draw my pattern. So now I have to draw the exact same pattern. So if I try to draw something like some other different pattern like this, it will give you a message saying your pattern is incorrect. And uh, the right pattern is actually the straight line which we set it. So voila, your screen is now unlocked. So you can go back and set it. Uh, you can set a different pattern if you want, like you can set something like this, something easy to remember, hopefully, let's not go too complicated. So if I try to draw something else, like it'll obviously give me a wrong pattern, so I have to go ahead and draw the same pattern, and voila, it's unlocked. So, and also when you, I mean, I'm guessing you guys are noticing these numbers and wondering what these numbers are, I'll come to that in a moment. So if I go to set pattern right here, and if I go like this, like like this, and like this, and like this, okay. So what you get is a bunch of numbers right here. So basically these numbers are the numbers like like for example in array, each uh, each whatever memory location has an index, right? So same here, each hexagon has a index. So for example, this was oh, one second, no, okay. Uh, one sec. Yeah. So, for example, this one has a zero, and this one has a one, and the next one is two, which is here. Okay. So then three comes here. This is four. This is five. And again goes back six, seven, eight, nine, and so on. So right here, when you when I set this pattern, it was zero, one, four, and two. And that's the order of the indices that I have to join to unlock my phone. And this is just for you know debugging purposes. So just I mean obviously you won't show the pattern like on the lock screen, right? So this is for testing purposes and to know what the pattern is. So let me go ahead and draw the pattern. So yeah, that's it. And also there are a lot of different settings. Like if you really want like a simple pattern and if you think this is like really complicated. You can decrease the number of levels. Levels is basically a uh, number of rings of hexagons that you have in your lock screen. So for example here, there are only three lock three rings, like this one, and okay, let's just let me just demonstrate it. This one, 
and this one this is second ring and this is the outer outermost ring that's the third ring so yeah so you can set it to two one is pretty useless I mean so why, why would you even want to set it at one but yeah this is for functionality sake you can even set it like really high like seven and let me reduce the number of let me reduce the length of the helix skin so what this slider does it reduces the length that is the side like your this is a perfect symmetric uh, equilateral hexagon so it's right now at 40 pixels if I reduce it to like 30 so the length of the side one one edge of X hexagon is reduced to 30 pixels I can reduce it further to 20 so right now you can see it's at uh, 20 pixels and seven layers levels or whatever so this one is like a really complicated one you can draw like a really complicated pattern like uh, obviously I'm not going to remember this just for demonstration sake so if I try to draw that again there's probably like one in a bazillion chance of me getting it right so yeah <laughs> so let me go down and reduce it back to 2 or something so yeah if you were like someone simple and you want a really simple pattern you can go for like 2 or something you can also change the colors oh yeah I forgot to go into that you can also change the colors right here like you can get a nice blue background and now that the background that changes even the color that of the pattern changes like if you try to unlock your screen using a different pattern like if you're using a different theme the even the pattern like uh, the pattern unlocking color changes and you have green all sorts of cool colors right here okay so I have to set the pattern first so you can set a simple pattern like this and unlock it and lock it back again and if you're some crazy dude who's worried about the NSA hacking into your phone and stuff whatnot you can set a really complicated pattern uh, it's gonna take a while ah crap I messed it up one sec now set the pattern click on set pattern and it's gotta be really slow with this oh, it's damn sensitive Uh, can I make, can I do this? It's like really hard. Yeah, done. So now, if I want to unlock my screen, I just have to draw the same pattern. Yeah, done. So there you go. Uh, this is my lock screen. Uh, which I made in Java. Hopefully you liked it. I liked it a lot. I mean, it's cool and it's kind of unique and I'm always fascinated by hexagons for some reason. So, I always thought this is cool. And also you can do without the border, the black border. You can make it borderless. So it kind of looks slightly cooler for some reason. Yeah. And if I go and let me show you a small detail which I think most of you haven't noticed. So, if I go right here and I click on one of the cells, you see it gets raised a bit. Like, see here, it gets it gets a bit raised from its original thing. Just just to like you know, give like a three D perspective to the uh, whatever drawing lock screen or something. Just a cool like you know material design, simple material design. So as you can see, it gets raised a bit from its actual position. So, so there you have it. Um, Hopefully you guys liked it and if you like this video just like it and comment and, and do let me know what you guys like to see in the future and hopefully this video is very informative and I think I'll be putting I think the code is already on github available on github so if you want you can use this as a project or some kind of small you know application or you can build upon this and you know make it better or anything and I'm not really the best programmer out there. I mean, there are a lot of better programmers out there. I'm just a student who's learning. So my code will be like, uh, might be inefficient and whatnot. So hopefully you guys can make it better and optimize it. So that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll be back with more videos. Thank you.